hello guys welcome back to another Android studio tutorial today we are going to learn about how to handle the click events of the navigations menu item available on a navigation drawer so go to the activity main.xml here is the navigation view with id navigation view so now that is a linear layout now here i am going to add a frame layout inside the linear layout specify the layout height and width specify the height as match parent specify the width is also match parent now specify an id for this frame layout i name it as main container Okay. Now here I am going to add three fragments for handle this menu options like home, message and settings. Now we need three fragments to represent these navigations menu items, home, message and settings. So now at the first fragment, right click the application and create a new fragment and select the blank fragment and here I name it as home fragment and the layout file name is fragment home there is no need of these factory methods and there is no need of interface callback and click finish okay now the fragment is created go to the layout file and there is only a text to view is available uh, first here I am going to change the gravity of the text view and throw it the gravity uh, Specify that one into center. So now the text is available at the center of the layout Now change the text size Change the text size into 35 uh, dp Also change the text style Change the text style into bold Okay, also change the text content. Here specify some simple text. Uh, this is the home fragment. Uh, this one is home fragment. Okay, so now here I am going to add two more fragments. One for representing messages and another one for representing settings. Okay, now here we have three fragments. First one is home fragment, second one is message fragment, and the last one is settings fragment. Okay, now go to the main activity dot Java. Here we need to initialize some variables. So whenever the application is loaded for the first time, we have to display the home fragment. So for display the fragments, we already add some container inside the linear layout. The container is a frame layout with id main container. So go to main activity dot java. So to display the fragment, we need some variable, say fragment transaction variable. Select the fragment transaction from the v4 support library. So you will get support from all the devices. So fragment transaction, I name it as fragment transaction okay so whenever the application is loaded for the first time we have to display the home fragment so initialize the variable fragment transaction fragment transaction equal to uh, get support fragment manager dot begin transaction Okay, now we have to add the fragment, home fragment into the container. So fragment transaction dot add. First specify the container for the fragment r dot id dot main container. That is the id of the frame layout. Now specify the object of the fragment. Uh, that is home fragment. Okay, 
now we have to commit this transaction so fragment transaction dot commit okay so now we have to change the title of the toolbar into home fragment so get uh, support action bar dot set title uh, change the title into home fragment Okay, now we can test this one. Okay, now run the application. Select a virtual device. Okay, now we display the home fragment inside the frame layout. And also we change the title of the toolbar into home fragment. Okay, and now we have to handle the click events of this navigation drawer. So go to the activity main.xml and here is the navigation view with id navigation view. Okay now open up main activity. First here we have to create some variable for navigation view. Uh, navigation view I name it as navigation view. Now we have to initialize that variable navigation view equal to find view by id r dot id dot navigation view type cast this one into uh, navigation view okay and uh, now we have to create the click listener for the navigation view so navigation view dot set navigation item selected listener new on navigation item selected listener ok so now here we have to get the id of the menu item so to validate that one create a switch statement so item dot get item id now we have to analyze each case so before going to analyze that one we have to check the id of the menus open up the drawer menu dot x drawer menu dot xml here is the item first one is home item with id home id second one with id id message and that last one is id settings okay so the first case is r dot id dot home id in that case we have to display we have to display the uh, home fragment again so again start the fragment transaction get fragment uh, get support fragment manager dot uh, begin transaction now fragment transaction dot replace we have to replace that particular fragment inside the container so replace r dot id dot uh, main container now specify the fragment class name home fragment uh, specify as an object new home fragment and commit the transaction fragment transaction dot commit now we have to change the title of the toolbar so set uh, we have to call this method called the get support action bar dot set title again change that one into home fragment also we have to check the item item dot set checked into true ok and finally don't forget the break statement ok this is the first case now specify the second case copy this one and here is the second case the second case is R dot id dot id message in that case uh, we have to display the message fragment uh, message fragment okay and change the title into 
message fragment change the title and now comes to the last case the last one is settings id id settings now start the settings fragment settings fragment and change the title of the toolbar into settings fragment and return true from here okay now we can touch the application okay now run the application select the virtual device so the application load the home fragment inside the frame layout so now I'm going to open up the navigation drawer now I change that one into message okay now we forget something we forget to close the navigation drawer so now I select message so here it is changed it will change into message fragment now again I open it into settings so now it will change into settings okay so here we forget something we have to close the navigation drawer so here is the drawer layout variable is drawer layout so we have to close that one so drawer layout dot close drawers copy this statement paste it here okay now run it again okay now I open up the navigation drawer and select home yeah now it is automatically closed now change into message here now display message fragment and title change into message fragment now I again change it into settings so now it will display settings fragment also change the title into settings fragment this is how we navigating through the navigations menu of the navigation drawer I hope you understand the concepts. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.